fastest player of all time, Joey Galloway. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that guy. Man, that's, that's old school fast. I think Joey Galloway got overlooked a lot because of a lack of flamboyance. Just a pure, fast receiver, and he played the position that way. Joey Galloway, under the radar, played for a bunch of teams. Not the loudest guy, not the biggest look at me guy, no dancing in the end zone. But look around the media landscape right now. Joey Galloway's on TV. Some of those guys, they're not. Joey Galloway! Would you believe it? I think it's a little bit of an injustice to put Joey Galloway as far down as eight. Yeah, Joey Galloway, an absolute burn. There was a time in the late 90s where people didn't want to play against Joey Galloway. I mean, we talk about Hail Marys, just chuck it up blindly and Joey Galloway is going to catch it, whether he's in the stadium or already outside of it. That's a great example of the commodity that Speed's seen in the NFL, because the Cowboys gave up two first-round picks to get him from the Seahawks. It turned out it was a bad trade for the Cowboys, and he did not have the career that Jerry envisioned, but it was Purely that speed that cost the Cowboys a lot of draft picks for a player who turned out wasn't that good at that part of his career. While our number eight was a bust in Big D, he was reborn with the Bucks. 69 yards, one play, touchdown Tampa Bay. Even when he was old, he was fast. He, he's number one. He was absolutely productive and he embodied speed. Man, he could run, and he could run pretty much faster than anybody at his position. I mean, he was probably one of the NFL's fastest players, if not the fastest player in the NFL. Hello, this is Ed Quarters. Hey, baby, what happened? What happened?